NVIDIA just launched a supercomputer that fits in your palm and rivals a data center. The future is here. Today, we're diving deep into the NVIDIA DGX Spark, this pint-sized powerhouse that's turning heads across the tech world. Announced at GTC 2025 and finally shipping, it delivers a staggering one petaflop of artificial intelligence muscle, 128 gigabytes of unified memory, and the ability to handle models up to 200 billion parameters right on your desk. Why should you care? In a world where artificial intelligence talent is jumping ship left and right, engineers ditching big tech for startups because they crave hands-on control, this little beast democratizes high-end artificial intelligence development. Its chaos, power, and portability all rolled into one sleek package. Stick around as we unpack specs, benchmarks, and whether it's worth your hard-earned cash. Oh, and if you love these deep dives into the tech that's shaping our future, hit that subscribe button now. We've got more artificial intelligence breakthroughs coming your way. Let's jump in. It's early 2025. NVIDIA at GTC dropped bombshells, and then comes Project Digits, now the DGX Spark. This is NVIDIA's brilliant answer to the artificial intelligence boom, a personal artificial intelligence supercomputer that's about the size of a Mac Mini but with the power to make enterprise developers jealous. Powered by the GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip, it rocks a 20-core ARM CPU fused with a Blackwell GPU, all packed into a mere 1.2 kilograms, 170 watts package. It's designed for folks tired of sky-high cloud bills and frustrating latency lags. Let's set the scene. We're in the middle of 2025's artificial intelligence talent war, with engineers bolting from giants like Google, chasing the freedom to prototype without constraints. The Spark fits perfectly into this landscape. It's for developers, researchers, data scientists, even students who want to fine-tune LLMs locally. NVIDIA launched it alongside the beefier DGX station, with partners like Asus, Dell, and Hewlett-Packard jumping on board. It's shipping worldwide, pre-orders filled, and early users are raving on forums. It's essentially a bridge from your desk to deployment. All right, time to geek out because if you're watching this, you probably love the nitty-gritty details. The heart of the DGX Spark is the GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip. This single system on chip combines a 20-core ARM CPU, 10 Cortex-X925 cores for heavy lifting, and 10 Cortex-A725 cores for efficiency. With a Blackwell GPU boasting 5th generation tensor cores and 4th generation ray tracing cores, that's 6,144 CUDA cores if you're counting, all optimized for artificial intelligence at 4 bit floating point precision. We're talking 1 petaflop or 1,000 tops, which might sound like overkill for your desk until you realize it makes my old RTX setup look like a potato in comparison. Memory? 128 gigabytes of unified LPDDR5X on a 256-bit bus, clocking 273 gigabytes per second bandwidth, shared seamlessly between CPU and GPU thanks to NVLink C2C, which is five times faster than PCIe Gen 5. No more data shuttling bottlenecks. It's like the CPU and GPU are best friends holding hands. Storage options include one terabyte or four terabytes, NVMe solid-state drive, self-encrypting for those paranoid about data leaks. Networking's where it gets interesting, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port for basics, but the star is the 200 gigabit Ethernet Connect X7 Smart NIC with remote direct memory access, letting you cluster two units for double the fun. Connectivity, four USB, four ports at 40 gigabits per second, HDMI 2.1a, Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.3. It's basically a connectivity paradise. Power draw, just 170 watts from a standard socket with advanced cooling to keep it whisper quiet. It ships with NVIDIA DGX operating system, Ubuntu-based, preloaded with CUDA, and the full artificial intelligence enterprise stack. From what I've researched, users confirm it's plug-and-play for PyTorch and Jupyter, though that ARM CPU means no easy Windows gaming. Dimensions? A compact 150 by 150 by 50 millimeters, 1.2 kilograms, literally palm-sized as NVIDIA proudly claims. Architecture is where the spark truly shines. At its core, the Grace Blackwell setup integrates that 20-core ARM CPU with the GPU via NVIDIA Link C2C, creating a unified memory pool. No separate VRAM drama, perfect for massive artificial intelligence models that won't fit on a standard GPU. The GPU's fifth-generation tensor cores handle 4-bit floating point with sparsity, optimizing for sparse models like MOE. Think Quen 3's MOE variants running smoother than butter. Let's be real, that 273 gigabytes per second bandwidth it's a bottleneck compared to an RTX 5090's 1.8 terabytes per second, or even Apple's M4 Max at 546 gigabytes per second. Still, for prototyping 70 billion parameter models or inferencing 200 billion locally, it's a game changer. It empowers solo developers in the 2025 talent war, where engineers are jumping ship for tools like this, freedom from cloud overlords. 
NVIDIA positions it as a direct descendant of DGX1, and honestly, it feels like the future of edge artificial intelligence computing. Let's balance the excitement with some critical reality. According to Reddit, inference on Quen 3 32 billion hits about 8 tokens per second, bump to 32,000 context, and it drops to around 5.5. A 72 billion model? Approximately 1.8 tokens per second. But Mo E like Quen 330 billion A3B? Estimated 40 plus tokens per second, thanks to sparsity. Fine tuning up to 70 billion parameters works, but clustering two units unlocks models up to 405 billion parameters. The strengths really shine in prototyping mid sized models. 7 billion to 70 billion fly locally, outpacing CPU clusters. Adobe benchmarks show significantly faster extract transform load versus CPUs. That bandwidth limitation becomes apparent when compared to the RTX 5090's 1.8 terabytes per second. Large models with long context do crawl. Apple's M4 Max or AMD Ryzen AI, Max plus 395, 256 gigabytes per second, often edge it out in raw speed. It's balanced for memory-bound tasks. That 128 gigabytes unified memory lets you load models that 32 gigabytes RAM GPUs can't touch. Power efficiency? 170 watts is impressive for desks, but sustained loads might face thermal throttling. Users on Reddit report around 40 tokens per second on sparse MOE, but dense 200 billion models dip to 1 to 2 tokens per second with high context. Compared to DGX A100's 5 petaflops, the Spark is like a mini-me, but for personal use, it's seriously impressive. No official ML perf results yet, but NVIDIA's white papers suggest order of magnitude gains over CPUs. It's become a weapon in the talent war. Engineers love the local control. If bandwidth bottlenecks your workflow, you might want to look elsewhere. Who exactly is this tiny titan for? Artificial intelligence developers prototyping in garages, researchers fine-tuning healthcare models without cloud data leaks, data scientists accelerating Spark pipelines for financial insights. Why? Local control in the 2025 talent war. Engineers are jumping ship for tools that let them own their workflows. Imagine fine-tuning a 70 billion model for custom chatbots or inferencing 200 billion parameters for robotic simulations like NVIDIA's GR00TN1. The real value proposition, privacy, latency-free testing, and scalability migrate to DGX Cloud seamlessly when needed. It's becoming the spark, pun intended, for solo innovators jumping from big tech to startups, fueling the talent exodus with hands-on power. If you're visionary enough to see beyond the hype, this could be your essential tool. Time for some competitive skepticism. How does the Spark stack up against the competition? Let's start with the RTX 5090. Approximately $3,000, 32 gigabytes VRAM, 1.8 terabytes per second bandwidth. The Spark's 128 gigabytes unified memory wins for large models, but that 273 gigabytes per second bandwidth? It's like racing a Ferrari with bicycle tires. The 5090 crushes inference speed, but can't load 200 billion parameter models without some serious tricks. Versus other DGX systems. The Spark's compact 1 petaflop versus the station's 20 petaflops, 784 gigabytes, approximately $50,000. The Spark is clearly for individuals while the station is for teams. Why pay a premium for less power? The answer is portability and accessibility. Overall, it's a skeptical win for niche artificial intelligence developers. If you need maximum bandwidth or gaming capabilities, you might want to pass. Let's get pragmatic about the wallet hit. Because in this 2025 artificial intelligence talent war, where engineers are jumping ship for tools that don't break the bank, pricing can make or break a gadget like the DGX Spark. Starting with the Founders Edition, that's the premium 4 terabytes solid-state drive model, clocking in at $3,999 straight from NVIDIA. It comes with all the bells and whistles, preloaded software, that sleek design, and enough storage to hoard datasets like a digital dragon. But let's be real, for a palm-sized supercomputer, it's basically NVIDIA charging you for the privilege of not needing a data center. If you're shopping smarter, partner versions like the Asus Ascent GX10 kick off at $2,999 for the one terabyte solid state drive configuration. Still pricey, but it includes custom tweaks like extra cooling options. Dell's Pro Max with GB10? Around $3,200 depending on region. Bundles get interesting. Snag two four terabytes units with a high-speed clustering cable for about $8,049. Perfect for teams scaling up to those 405 billion parameter monsters. The DGX Spark is more than just another piece of hardware. It's a game changer in the ongoing talent war, empowering innovators to break free from traditional constraints and push the boundaries of what's possible with artificial intelligence. Whether you're a researcher fine-tuning massive models, a developer prototyping the next breakthrough application, or a student exploring the frontiers of artificial intelligence, this personal supercomputer puts unprecedented power right at your fingertips. 
What do you think about the Spark? Is it the future of local artificial intelligence development or just another overpriced gadget? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from our community of tech enthusiasts. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the cutting edge of artificial intelligence hardware, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got more exciting tech breakdowns coming your way. Thanks for watching. And remember, the future of artificial intelligence isn't just in massive data centers. It's right here on your desk, waiting to spark your next big idea.